everyone and um, welcome to my very first ever Homebrew Wednesday. Um, currently I'm drinking a, uh, a um, ESB um, clone that a friend uh, of mine and myself brewed a few weeks ago. Um, I guess like all um, home brewers, it's uh, your first three brews you sort of get through pretty quick. So um, this is what we're drinking at the moment. It's um, to be honest with you, it's a little bit thin on it for my likings. Um, my friend really likes it quite a lot, but I probably prefer um, uh, a bit more of a multi multi type beer. But it's drinkable. Okay, so um, I just thought I'd join the Homebrew Wednesday um, movement. It's really inspiring um, in terms of the way people share ideas, um, uh, problem solve, um, be creative, come up with new recipes, as in the um, SJ Paul experiment, which has just been on. And um, I'm just uh, starting to get some bits and pieces together and build my own um, microbrewery. So I'm going to go through the process, or record the process, of, um, of me going through building my microbrewery. Okay guys, so um, here's the kit that I've got at the moment. So um, I've kind of, I've had the advice of a good friend of mine who's actually um, a home brewer as well and um, he's actually probably on his 20th brew. He's given me a good bit of advice in terms of equipment and what to buy. Um, so I have tended to spend a little bit extra and try and buy quality. Um, so the mash tun that you can see here is um, from All Grain. Um, and I have to say I've had great support from Carl up up there. Um, my hot water uh, pot, as you can see, um, I just bought a cheap one of those. I just bought one from a place called Crazy Deal. It's fifty five bucks. And I'm lucky, I'm like I said before, my friend uh, who's a plumber, guess but he's he's um, put a tap on that for me, which is um, really good. Saved quite a lot of money actually. Um, I mean, you know, you can go out and you can buy these fancy kits, you know, you can buy the Faro one or, or whatever, but it's half of the joy of this process is actually um, uh, figuring it out for yourself and getting together with other like-minded people and building these things. Um, and this is the latest piece of kit that turned up the other day. This is again from uh, Allgrain, um, and it's just really good quality pot. Um, actually, it's fantastic quality, to be honest with you. We look in there. There we go. And I think... Shipped to Dunedin. Uh, that was about $155. Yeah. So um, that's from that. I've got a. You can see it over back there. Tucked in there. Bit of a wart chiller. Yeah. So um, what I'm hoping to do here is um, take this kit and um, turn it into a gra gravity feed system. That's, that's the plan anyhow. Yeah, so like I said, I'm going to build a gravity system. Um, and uh, one, of the, one of the really cool things that I've learned about this getting into home brewing, or as I like to call it, independent craft brewing, um, is um, just the sort of um, the, uh, kinsmanship that exists out there. Um, so I joined Real Beer um, and the Real Beer Forum and uh, went on to the Dunedin group and put out a request for um, someone to give us a hand um, to, or if anyone knew of anyone who would help me build this gravity system and um, there's a guy, Mike, who apparently designed the Faro system and he's going to, I'm going to get in contact with him next week and then he's going to come up and we're going to hopefully have a chat about building the system. Um, not, not really after anything too technical, just pretty pretty simple system um, and really I'm looking, still looking at just brewing at 20 litre capacity at this stage, nothing else. Uh, but it's, I've been doing it in the kitchen and, uh, as you can imagine, um, head office or the wife, she doesn't like that too much and I tend to do it when she's not there, but yeah, I'm trying to get more out to the man cave and do it in the garage where I can be left alone and to my own devices, you could say. Yeah, so I guess uh, like uh, all homebrew Wednesday or brew tubers or whatever you want to call ourselves, um, it's a pretty exciting time and um, I guess uh, I'm just uh, wanting to join the community and get some advice at times, um, share some ideas and uh, 
yeah, I'd, I'd really appreciate if you people just comment on the video and say hello, and um, I'll make my every effort to, to reply back, and um, I'll keep you updated as to how things go and um, how much things cost, because I guess a lot of guys out there are quite curious as to how much these sort of setups cost and that. Um, I mean, as you know, I mean, one pot alone is $155. You can easily spend a thousand dollars without even blinking on this game. So, yeah, it's all it's all it's all fun. Um, just a big cheers to uh, cheers to Paul Wixty. I've been following his uh, stuff on another one, really fantastic, and uh, all the other brew tubers out there. Um, just for your advice and your help, as I've been trying to get this thing going. So it's been fantastic. So. Um, Stay tuned, um, let me know what you think, and uh, let's just watch this project evolve. Cheers.